Hi everyone. It is December 16, 2017. This is a California fire update. But I'm starting with this because I received another private message from a subscriber in Australia wanting me to post a video on this. I did. I included this in a video that I posted two days ago. Um, I, I don't know what to say about this other than it is not smoke from a fire. It reminds me of 9-11. It reminds me of when the building started to fall that suddenly we saw this gush of dust of what was not smoke. And that's what this reminds me of. Uh, this is not smoke from the fire. And I do want you to pay attention to that. What is this? This, uh, it almost looks like a, a, a very light blue gaseous substance. But look how defined it gets. Look at that. All right, that is caused by frequencies, either microwave frequencies or lasers. But what is it? Uh, it's transparent. But I don't know what that is. Look at all the chemtrails in the background. But this looks like it's beginning to develop into a mushroom cloud. No, this, the fires did not cause this. The, this looks more like a huge explosion of some sort. That's all I can say about this. But this is... What is this? So we can see the frequencies in it. Um, and, and it really is unfortunate that Americans either just don't care or they just really are very adamant about staying willfully ignorant. They don't want to, they don't want to hear that they're being attacked, that these fires are deliberate. I will link below to Mental Boost's channel. He has a lot of videos on the fires, as well as a lot of videos pointing out the anomalies, like, oh, this neighborhood, so only these fires are, uh, these homes are on fire, but the homes behind, the homes in front, on the sides, okay. That in itself should beg questions in every adult's mind. So, we've got an awful lot of Americans that unless they can be reached, you can guarantee that all of these catastrophic events, and we will see more and more, and no doubt we're going to see them more frequently, but we will see the obviousness of these events taking place, that they are deliberate, and we'll still have to walk around facing our fellow Americans who are just refusing to acknowledge that, yeah, California burning? Well, you're being attacked, Californians. And if you don't wake up to that and begin to attend to reality and begin to do some research and begin to listen to people instead of just insulting them, rolling, your eyes and calling them conspiracy theorists. Um, well, if you still have your home, will you have it during the next fire? Because your governor already told you you're going to be seeing more and more of these. Because it, uh, it's climate change. My God, it's climate change, right? No, it's not. I will play a few minutes of this video and listen to these two men. I don't know who they are. They're working the fire. They're going around checking homes. Maybe they're firemen. I don't know. But their conversation is interesting. The roof and the floor are now together. They just went straight down, perfectly straight down. There was not a basement. Yeah. So, I don't know what this was, but it literally just came straight down on itself. Unbelievable. Look at that. Is that another car down over there? Something about something white. Yeah, right back there. Unreal, man. Unreal. Right. So 
awful. Yeah. It's unreal, actually. <clears throat> Anthony's really lucky. I'm glad he made it up. Yeah. So, I don't know what this was, but it literally just came straight down on it. I don't know what this was, but it literally came straight down upon itself. Now, I-beams, um, they're steel. Okay, you have a structure with steel beams, and this thing collapses upon itself. The roof comes right down to the floor, and everything is gone. Really? Sound like 9-11 to you? Does to me those very, very tall buildings crumbling in their own footprint in seconds. Yeah, we still have Americans who actually believe the, the, the laughable official story. And then we have those Americans who, well, they don't believe it, but they don't care. It's... It's kind of frightening. It's so surreal what we are living. Or Tika Blue. Um, well, she got her evacuation notice. November 16th, 2017. Okay, we just got an evacuation notice for really nearby area because as you can see, the winds are blowing and this is what the firefighters did not want to happen. So look how fast, look at that are really blowing. There's not too much ash in the air right now, but the smoke, this morning when I woke up, I couldn't believe it. It was just, look, we're surrounded by smoke. And the sky was so dark. Look at this. So the dust is blowing out. I forgot my mask. Well, anyway, um, this is bad. Okay. The wind. This is the worst thing that can happen. Okay. Look at this. It's like all that ash. That's the ash. <laughs> okay. So, um, this is her latest post. I hope she comes back and posts more, and I hope that her home does not burn to the ground. Oh, by the way, have we heard from this guy, Trump? Has he said anything about the fires? I haven't heard. Don't you think this is kind of strange? The reporting on the Thomas fire, it went from the fifth largest to the third largest in like 36 hours. If you had been paying attention to the mainstream media headlines, it went from fifth largest ever in the state of California, then fourth largest like two hours later, and then I woke up the next morning and it's the third largest in the history of California. And now I'm seeing headlines that are saying maybe the largest, the largest. So we've got the largest possibly, but the third largest fire in California. And we don't hear from this guy. Maybe, maybe he did say something, but it just seems a little bizarre that <laughs> California is burning up. Red flag warnings all over San Diego, Northern California. I'm hearing from um, subscribers. They leave in comments. You guys, whether you're Northern or Southern, you're all saying pretty much the same thing. Highly unusual. Santa Ana uh, uh, winds do not go on for 13 days. This is the time of year when they should... Oh, and I'm hope I... You can't quote me, this is my memory, but the comments that I've been reading. Uh, this is the time of year for a lot of fog, certainly in Northern California. And you have like 5% humidity, highly unusual. So um, if we cannot get 
if we, this is just going to have to continue. It's so hard to deal with knowing that this is deliberate destruction. And then you just, what, go on about your business? So, yeah, I sent about uh, Barbara County uh, mandatory evacuations. It spread rapidly today. Um, evacuations ordered for California's third largest wildfire since 1932. California cities become ghost towns as wildfires threaten. I, I saw a video posted by Ortega Blue yesterday and she was saying and these were not her words but the essence of what she was saying was it's it's kind of surreal it's you know you walk around and you see people who have been evacuated but they're just kind of walking around with no place to go where are all of these people going you know the news reports anywhere from 90,000 to 200,000 have been evacuated where are they going it is very concerning when we have these catastrophic events that take place we hear that so many have been evacuated but I think Red Cross has some shelters but where are they going so Santa Barbara under mandatory evacuation I will link below to these evacuation maps this is the Santa Barbara uh, evacuation map and here's Summerland Santa Barbara it seems that a lot of carpinteria has been spared but this is Summerland and the mandatory evacuations are in purple and the voluntary is yellow and blue I'll also link below to this um, Ventura fire evacuation map and I didn't hear about these evacuations so I did do you know a little bit of uh, research to find out if Casitas and uh, Fillmore yeah Fillmore was they did lift the evacuation orders but a day ago they got mandatory evacuations so when you look at all of these places being evacuated, think about, think about first of all, how traumatizing it is for people that are evacuated and they don't know if they're going to lose everything that they have. But even if they don't, the evacuation itself is very destabilizing. Uh, so, yeah, it's not just Santa Barbara, but Rose Valley um, and evacuations in Ventura. And these were just two days ago. Did you hear about that? This area was evacuated? All right. Um, I do want to point out that the National Mosaic, yep. We've got these harp rings up here, the Northwest Pacific. So frequencies are being used. Are they causing the winds? Are they driving the jet stream? Are they making sure that California gets no rain whatsoever? Perhaps. But you also have ultra low frequencies in Wyoming ultra low frequencies very dangerous they can cause earthquakes with uh, ultra low frequencies so yeah I mean the proof is in the pudding but somehow Americans just don't like pudding anymore I guess this is a list of weather modification companies a long list of weather modification companies commercial companies providing weather modification services right here. Oh, oh, and we have 
the West Texas Weather Modification Association, Southwest Texas Rain Enhancement Association, the Weather Modification Inc. Company provides services to most states in the United States as well as other countries. The Future of Weather Control, Raytheon addresses Weather Modification Association <laughs> in 2005. The work involves using plasma and, and ionized gas to reconfigure the ionosphere. How do you... I don't know. I am, I am completely and utterly dumbfounded. County of Los Angeles Weather Modification Project, 125 pages. Santa Barbara County has weather modification services provided to them by Weather Modification Inc. What are those weather uh, modification services? Snowpack augmentation, um, program management and personnel, aircraft or cloud seeding, ground-based cloud seeding generators, weather radar system, meteorological services. Now, if you told somebody, Santa Barbara, that place that's going to be burning up, that place that has mandatory evacuation orders, the county, the county solicits weather modification services from Weather Modification Inc. to provide snowpack augmentation. They might say, well, that's just augmenting the snow. But they got to have snow first, right? Would they bother to do any further research? No. No. Public Works Department, Santa Barbara County, cloud seeding to produce rain to produce snow. The summary of operations for cloud seeding programs in Santa Barbara County in 2017 in 20 this year <sighs> drought stricken LA admits to using weather modification to produce more rain March 2016 weather wars um, this is just a list of documents I, I'm I'm including as I very often do all of the documents and evidence that you guys need to I don't know, bring your Californians into reality? California laws, California Wilderness Act, these are all weather modification laws. Weather modification operations in California. 1964, 1972, 2009, 2011. Town of Fairfax, California. I'm including this just so you can see that the town council in Fairfax, California had authorized to um, to stop the geoengineering or the chemtrails. Now where is it? Here, adoption of resolution uh, number 1207, a resolution of the town council of the town of Fairfax declaring Fairfax a chemtrail free zone. So if you have a town council that declares their area a chemtrail free zone, well, don't you think that Californians would then say, wow, all right, maybe there is something to this. 
But a, a, a small county in California or a town, there's no way that they can put, you know, a wall up around all of the aerosol spraying to create a chemtrail free zone. But perhaps they did that just to bring attention to it. But again, Governor Brown establishes most ambitious greenhouse gas reduction target in North America. And that's what these fires are about, guys. He jamming, ramming right down your throats. Agenda 2030, the reshaping of California, all of the laws and the rules and the regulations that you will have to abide by because if you don't, you're going to be hit with an awful lot of fines and they're going to be costly. But it's going to be costly for all of you Californians to upgrade your homes, to get all of your uh, smart energy saving appliances, get rid of your wood stoves. Well, because, you know, burning wood, not good for the environment. Get out of your cars, live in little, little apartments in the stacking packs. You would think also that, you know, Californians, <laughs> I don't know, maybe people think, you know, the Paris Agreement, the Paris Accord. I don't think people have really considered what the, uh, the implications for their own self. I think they see these laws, rules, regulations really only affecting corporations and well, that's a good thing. They're not getting the full picture here. They're not bringing it home. And how they're not thinking about how it's going to affect their own lives, their own pocketbooks, their own homes, their own lifestyles. It's a shame, but once again, I'm going to end with this, Department of Water Resources. You know, it. a lot of the weather modification is coming from the Department of Energy, coming from uh, utility companies and uh, water departments across the country. So the Department of Water Resources, uh, a 42-page document, Weather Modification Operations in California, from 1963 to 19 to uh, September 30, 1964. So a full year of weather modification operations in California. It was published May 1965, and who was the governor? Jerry Brown's father. So you think Jerry Brown doesn't know about weather? modification? You think Jerry Brown doesn't know that California was engaged and is engaged in weather modification operations? Do you think Jerry Brown doesn't know about the geoengineering that is taking place? Do you think Jerry Brown no, uh, does not know that we have the technology to steer the jet stream? Of course he knows. But all he does is lie through his teeth and claim that it's climate change. And yeah, you're going to be fighting fires at Christmas. You may very well be fighting fires at Christmas because it's only nine days away now. All links are below.